Alright, hey, Hayes Omega here. Welcome to another Hayes Omega Rap 4 Prime video. I, I know I sound kind of funny because uh, I've been uh, under the weather for uh, a few days now, so and I'm finally getting better. So, I'm uh, making a video about the Rap 4 and this recall that's been going on for like more than a year, guys. Alright, so if you remember, uh, if, if, if you've been keeping up with my videos, about a, yeah, about a, like a year ago, they came out with this recall. They came out with a recall notice. All right, and I have a I have a previous video that I shot about it when I got that letter, and this is like the follow up, pretty much, to that letter. All right, and uh, and basically there was a problem with the DC DC converter when you're charging the Rav4 in very cold temperature, it could start a fire or something. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's pretty serious stuff, right? And for like a whole, almost like a whole year. They, didn't, they couldn't come up with a fix for it yet, until now, guys, all right? And so that's what this letter is about, all right? So this will probably be a brief video. I probably went more in, de in detail about it in the previous video, but we're, I'm just going to read it, and then you guys can see what it's all about, all right? So I think this affects 2021 and 2022 RAV4 primes, okay? Um, yeah, so I got, this, I got this letter about last week. I also got a notification on my dash <laughs> so i've been on a way away on a trip i went on an alaskan cruise for like a whole week and i i didn't drive my rav4 and then when i came back to drive it the first time uh, a notification popped up on the on the um the multifunction display all right and then uh and it was it was about this okay so i'll show you the i'll show this show you those pictures right now okay yeah all right so and i'm just gonna i'm gonna go read it off uh, and then we'll take a look i'll t i'll show you guys the letter in a bit um when we after we i'm done reading it all right so this is from toyota motor sales usa uh on headquarters drive plano texas all right pretty much uh, the north american or usa uh toyota headquarters all right and it's an important safety recall Certain 2021 to 2022 model year RAV4 Prime vehicles potential risk of vehicle fire. That's pretty bad, right? NHTSA recall number 23 Victor 478. All right, Toyota recall number 23 Tango Alpha 07 Remedy Notice. Okay, um, this is an important, and then there's a little box here on the side that says this is an important safety recall. The remedy will be performed free of charge to you, okay? So it's it's an actual uh, recall campaign, all right? And uh, yeah, so it's 2021 to 2022 RAV4 primes, all right? That's, those are the only models that are affected by this. I think, I, I'm not sure, but I think 2023 and up, they changed the charging system on the RAV4s. They all they all got the six kilowatt chargers. I know boohoo, <laughs> right? I, I wish I had the six kilowatt charger, guys. Um, in, in my opinion, it should have came with the RAV4 in the first place. You're not gonna give us DC fast charging, give us the six kilowatt charger, man. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, what's what's prime about uh, three kilowatt charging? <laughs> so say all right. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's, so here we go. Dear Berlin Valencia, that's my name. All right, this notice applies to your vehicle. VIN number, I'm not gonna go over my VIN number. Uh, this notice is sent to you in accordance with the National Tra Traffic and Motor Vehicle Safety Act. Toyota has decided that a defect which relates to your motor vehicle safety exists in certain, not all of them, but certain 2021, 2022 model year RAV4 Prime vehicles. All right, so you know, I'm not gonna lie, um, ever since I got this notice, uh, and ever since I've owned this vehicle, I have charged this vehicle, I think the conditions where the vehicle, uh, the temperature has to be really cold, and you have to charge it. And then like something overheats, and then it catches on fire. Now, uh, I, I took my vehicle to Moab last year, right? And it probably got to like, probably dipped into the 20s, right? Yeah, I, I probably haven't taken it anywhere super duper cold. But I've taken it some really cold places charging and I haven't had any problems with it. Okay, so maybe mine isn't affected, but they're 
they're going to do the recall anyway. Okay. Uh, you receive, and it's very important that you do this recall, or else, uh, at least in California, you can't uh, register. You can't. Yeah, you can't renew your registration until you get this uh, recall done. So it's important that you do this right away, because my registration is coming up in like September or something. Okay. I didn't mention the the date that I'm shooting this video is May nineteenth, twenty twenty four. Okay, so, um, and I got it like a week ago already, so I should probably get on it. <laughs> uh, you receive this notice because our records, which are based primarily on state registration and title data, indicate you are the current owner. Yes, you are right. Uh, so those of you that bought it like secondhand, maybe you might not get this notice. I don't know. That's why you, you should watch my video. <laughs> what is the condition? A component that converts electricity voltage have been damaged in manufacturing and experience a short circuit generating excessive heat under certain condition this short circuit can generate enough heat to increase the risk of a vehicle fire right, that's not good uh, what will toyota do an authorized toyota dealer will replace the dc dc converter with a new improved part free of charge i hope it, i hope it's improved all right it's not i hope it doesn't make the vehicle less capable <laughs> all right hopefully maybe it'll make a maybe we'll get the six kilowatt charger i don't know <laughs> that would be great uh what should you do uh, please contact an authorized toyota dealer to schedule an appointment to have remedy performed as soon as possible sorry man I'm, i've been sick i'm i'm skipping some words here <laughs> the remedy will require parts replacement we recommend you contact your dealer to schedule an appointment in advance to confirm parts availability and minimize your inconvenience okay so to find a dealer near to you visit toyota.com i'm just going to go to the dealer that i uh, i bought my grab for from all right you should support your dealer guys <laughs> uh, for more information on this and safety recalls including frequently asked questions go to toyota.com backslash recall there you go <laughs> input your full 17 digit vin number with the uh with some kind of information about your vehicle okay um and if you require further assistance they have like a number that you can call okay but just just contact your dealer is if you got this letter if you have a 2021 and 2022 rav4 prime right um Chances are uh, you need to go get this recall done, or else you won't be able to do your thing. <laughs> you won't be able to register your vehicle. Okay, and then that's the first letter. The back side is in Spanish. I'm not going to go over it. Uh, this is an important safety recall. The remedy will take approximately one and a half hours. Okay, so plan to be not have your vehicle for two hours. All right, it's fine with me. Uh, however, depending upon the dealer's work schedule, it may be necessary to make the vehicle available for a longer period of time. Until the remedy is performed, customers can reduce the potential for this condition to occur if they refrain from charging the vehicle while the ambient temperature has been below, is below, or is expected to lot, drop below 41 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go. See, I've, I've charged my RAV4 in temperature is way below that all right like 20 degrees and it's fine okay <laughs> if this condition occurs on the vehicle the multi-information display may show the following warning message or a warning buzzer may sound all right if you get this then you better uh, take your thing to a toyota to your toyota dealer uh, one of the messages could be displayed on the multi-information display the, the first one is hybrid systems stopped stop in a safe place shift to pc owner's manual well, i would think the vehicle would just stop <laughs> if the, the hybrid system stopped working right um the charging system malfunction stop in a safe place see owner's manual wow. so these are these are stuff that you could see while you're driving and then you'll see a master warning light it's a big triangle with a exclamation mark in it uh, i'll show you guys what the letter looks like okay uh what if you live in california and do not have this safety recall campaign performed there you go. All right, if you live in California, the state of California requires the completion of safety recall service campaigns on emission related parts prior to vehicle registration renewal. In addition, the state requires that every vehicle must pass an emissions test every two years before it is sold. Mm. I wonder if I'm, I'm, I need, I'm at that point where I need to do smog checks on my RAV4. 
Uh, without the completion of this free safety recall route campaign, the California Air Resource Board car, ugh, I hate that name, will not allow your vehicle to be registered. State of California regulations requires Toyota to provide the Department of Motor Vehicles with a record of all vehicles that have not had the safety recall campaign completed. So they'll know if you haven't got this recall done, okay? Your to Toyota dealer will provide you with vehicle emissions recall proof of correction form after campaign has been completed. Please ensure you retain this form because the DMV may require that you supply proof that this campaign has been completed during your vehicle registration renewal process. Um, so when you get the recall done, uh, I will shoot a vlog when I do the recall, okay guys? Um, we'll go to Toyota, we'll, you know, what I used to do when we were doing the service on this guy. And they're, they're probably, well, after they do, do, do the recall, they replace the converter, they're probably going to put a sticker in, under your hood that says they did something to the vehicle, okay? And then, and then that, that's your proof that they did it, okay? So if you ever replace the hood on your vehicle, then, <laughs> then uh, you better save that sticker, okay? Uh, what if you are not the owner or operator of this vehicle? If you are a vehicle lessor, all right, you lease the vehicle. Federal law requires that any vehicle lessor receiving this recall notice must forward a copy of this notice to the lessee within 10 days. So, I guess you were re if you were renting it to somebody. Uh, if you know the current owner or operator, please forward this letter to them. Thank you for driving a Toyota. Sincerely, Toyota Motor Sales USA. Okay. And there's some stuff about safe car stuff. I'm not going to go over that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So here. Let's take a look at the letter real quick, and then uh, and I'll let you guys go. And then, uh, then Hayes Vega will, I think, I want to try to schedule a uh, appointment this week and get it done. It only takes like two hours, then you can spy <laughs> Okay, here's, so here's the front of the first part of the uh, thing right there. Alright, that's my VIN number. Uh, but yeah, here, 2021. RAV4 Prime Vehicles, all right, this is the National Transportation Safety Recall Number 23Victor-478, all right, uh, yeah, so if you gonna, if you guys want to look up more information on this, all you got to do is Google those numbers, okay, guys, uh, Toyota Recall Number 23 Tango Alpha 07, all right, so the last, the last letter they, they sent out was to inform you of this, all right, and they were looking for a fix, all right, so, and finally, about a year later, they had a fix, and they, so now they're finally going to go, um, do the thing, all right, maybe, maybe they finally got enough parts to do all the, the 2021 and 2022 RAV4s, okay, ho hopefully we'll get faster charging, <laughs> um, not likely, though, uh, okay, this is, uh, this is the, condition they're talking about the short circuit here and then there's a risk of vehicle fart okay yeah if you guys want to read this just pause it okay free of charge all right guys <laughs> you don't have to pay anything all right that that it's covered all right take it to the dealer the dealer will get paid to do their work so a toyota dealer will be happy to do the recall work for you <laughs> all right uh, this is an important safety recall. This is the second letter. The, like I said, the other side is just in Spanish, guys. Um, sorry for you Spanish speakers. <laughs> um, this is an important safety recall. All right. It here mentions it's uh, one and a half hours to do. All right. Um, it says uh, don't charge your vehicle at temperatures below 41 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius. Um, you definitely, if you're getting one of these errors here, or this, you see this, then you definitely want to contact your, your dealer, okay? <laughs> Alright, and then this is just mentioning, um, you can't renew your registration if, uh, if you don't get this performed, okay? And, uh, this is stuff, this is the stuff about the owners, and that's it, alright? And this, so, so yeah. Okay, and so that's the end of the uh, my video, my show, my, my my show and tell video for that uh, recall notice. All right, uh, recall notice twenty three Tango Alpha zero seven. All right, is what it is.
uh, and finally like, yeah it's been like more than a, almost like a year and they haven't uh they, <laughs> they haven't done the thing yet man they haven't uh they haven't i was wondering what was gonna was was going on about it uh what was the last thing about this yeah so as far as i know this is like the most this is the most significant recall that uh that i've uh done on the rav4 all right i think there was some stuff some minor update stuff um my i still have that noisy freaking heater thing but there's no problem with it uh oh the last thing was uh the cable gate thing all right but i i don't think my vehicle has a problem with that so yeah this is uh this seems to be like the the, the most significant recall that that's been done all right and it seems like they've they've already fixed the problem in the 23 and and up rav4 so that's only affects like two years of rav4 so but it says all of them too so maybe if you do have the like the premium package one with the faster charger and all that because i know i i do know i think the premium package rav Force they have a totally different charging system on them so it's like you can't just swap them <laughs> okay it's it's a totally different animal all right um or, or else i would have already done it <laughs> okay but anyway so so that's a scoop uh i'm gonna go uh contact i'll probably call toyota today i'll call my toyota dealership today and schedule a uh a recall appointment um and also yeah take a look at that uh the picture i showed you of my my multifunction display i got it the other day when i was driving it and um and yeah so i may keep on getting it until i get this recall done <laughs> um, but yeah check it out Okay, yeah, so so there's multiple ways. Like, it, it, I know, even if you, even if you, like, weren't the original owner and, like, they didn't have you, like, on file or something, that they can send, they can send the notice to your RAV4. <laughs> it's freaking nuts, right? Yeah, dude, the, the, the times we live in, man, it's crazy. Uh, the car, the car will tell you, hey, you need to fix me. <laughs> so, so, yeah, um, it's pretty, pretty cool. All right, but anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go schedule it, and then uh, we're gonna go do it, and then I'll shoot a vlog when I go and do it. All right, I, I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty painless. <laughs> um, uh, all I know is that uh, back here, like underneath the the passenger seat, right, right in this area, is where they're gonna do all the work. All right, now, not here, <laughs> not, not not in the spare tire area. All right, underneath the seat, that's where all the charging stuff is. For the vehicle all right all the charging the dc converter all that fancy stuff that you know charges the vehicle it's under the seat all right i, I think that's where the battery is on a, a rav4 hybrid um on a rav4 prime is is all the charging components are under the seat okay i've never been under there right we should go we should go take a look under there maybe maybe after the recall we'll, we'll go in there and we'll take a look <laughs> i don't know man we'll see what they did but uh yeah, it, it, I guess it's kind of cool that uh, you'll get a new part and stuff. I'm sure those charging components wear out, so you get a little bit, um, you get a brand new part. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Big out. All right, guys. Uh, so I just got off the phone with uh, what you call it. Uh... All right, guys. So I just got off the phone with Stevens Creek Toyota, and uh, what they told me is uh, they can't. They have to order the part first before they can perform the recall. Okay, so. So just FYI, you know, like, I guess you can't just go there. You can't just go there, willy-nilly go there, and then uh, get it done. <laughs> because they have to have the parts first for to do it, okay? So I guess, like, they got to order the part, and then they'll go install it when that happens. And so that's going to be, like, what they said. They said they can't get it till the end of this month. So I'm not going to get it done until, like, early June, all right? So June 5th, to be exact. So, So that's the day. Hayes Bang is gonna shoot his vlog, all right? So that's the day I got it scheduled, all right? So so that's so that's how far it's 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 gotten so far, all right? All right. See you guys uh, next month.